Okay, this is Evans Criswell. What I'm showing here is a program I have not touched for 19 years. It was written in Turbo Pascal under MS-DOS back in 1989, and I messed with the program and made some changes to it through 91. Um, it turned into a digital clock that I would leave running on the screen a lot. I wouldn't have it running in scoreboard mode like this. I would have it running just displaying the hours, minutes, and seconds of the time, but what this is is an emulation of the scoreboard that we had in the junior high school I attended, Cedartown Junior High School. Um, this scoreboard is very different than any I'd ever seen. You notice that it makes the digits in a very different way than most scoreboards. Notice that it makes very nice curved digits, although the dots aren't that close together. I'll zoom in here. In this program, I purposely drew circles around the bulbs that aren't lit so that you can see the entire pattern. And there are two bulbs that are there that aren't being used. Uh, when I wrote this program, in the ones digit, I had the one drawn in the middle instead of on the left, but the scoreboard in the gym put it on the left, so I changed the style to make it just like the scoreboard. So if you took out this bulb here and this bulb here, you'd have the exact pattern. Note that the tens digit is different than the ones digit. And the four stuck out on the left on the tens digit and on the right on the ones digit. And the patterns are significantly different even though the individual digits are made the same way. The stem of the four on the tens digit is used to make the one, whereas the ones digit puts the one on the left. The reason I'm showing this in such detail is I would love to know what company made this scoreboard and what year it was made. It was in a school that used to be a high school before integration. And of course the scoreboard only had one digit for minutes and two for seconds. And instead of having a ten digits for the minute, it just had a single bulb on the top right that was owned to indicate that a one should be there. Then, of course, it had home and visitor scores. Um, by the way, the clock on the scoreboard was in red, and the home and visitor score were in green. And the home and visitor scores had two of the one-style digits, which meant the digits had to be farther apart because the four stuck out on the right on both of them.